eight of a five and a half week tour from Ontario all the way through to Nova Scotia. So for this, we would like to thank our sponsors, NSERC and Habitat Stewardship Program for their generous support in allowing us to do this tour and teach people about reptiles at risk. Before we get started, I'm gonna explain a little bit about the program. The program is done in two parts. The first part, we will do lots of introductions of the animals and some of the people. And then from there, we will move into the hands-on part which will be a chance for you guys to touch and hold a lot of different native species and, a, and exotic species as well, and ask lots of questions about them and things like that. We do ask that if you do have questions, please hold them until the end. So I'm gonna introduce with me today, we have Jeff, and then both the lovely ladies with me are both Sarah, and then I'm Mary Ellen. So before I pull out our first guest, who some of you have already seen, um, <laughs> have any of you guys ever seen a snake in the wild before? Has anybody yes. seen a snake in the wild? You guys can raise your hand to that. There's a few. That's actually a good number. In some of the places we've been so far over the last eight days, there have actually been places where no one has been able to raise their hand as no one has seen a snake in the wild. And if you guys have seen a snake in the wild, it's probably been one much like our first guest. This is Alice, and Alice is a garter snake. Now, for a snake that's seen so often, a lot of people call her by the wrong names. Sometimes people call her grass snake because they see her in the grass or they'll call her garden snake because they see them in the gardens and sometimes they even call them gardening snakes or something like that which doesn't make much sense to us because well we've never seen a snake do any gardening and i'm sure you guys haven't either <laughs> but their proper name is garter snake with a t and this is because a long time ago men used to wear garters to hold up their socks and these garters had lots of stripes on them and i'm sure you guys can see alice has lots of stripes on her now the reason you guys probably see these sorts of snakes and other sorts of snakes out so often is because of their behavior. And their behavior is as such. On a really hot, warm, sunny day, snakes like Alice love to lay out in the rock and soak up that heat because snakes are cold-blooded. You guys have heard that before? Yeah. yeah? Well, I don't really like that term too much because cold-blooded is used in books and TV and things like that to say you know, mean and nasty people like killers or murderers or scary things like that. And we don't like that very much because Alice, she's, she's a very, very nice snake. Now the second reason I don't like that term so much is because on a really hot sunny day, when Alice is lazing out in the sun, sitting on a rock, her blood can become really hot, hotter than ours. So at that point, she's a hot blooded, cold blooded snake and it gets really confusing. So instead, I have another word I would love for you guys to use. And this word is ectotherm. Can you guys say that with me? Ectotherm. Awesome, you guys are great. And you know what? This word is even easier if we break it down into two parts. The first part is ecto, which means from outside or the environment. And therm means temperature. So all it really, put it together, and all it is is that snakes are the same temperature as their environment. So if we take Alice and we cuddle her in our hands, Alice will be the same temperature we are. If we take Alice and we put her in the fridge, not very long, she'll be the same temperature as the milk and juice that comes out of the fridge. And that's what it's like to be a snake. Now, in the second part of the show, or the second part of the program, sometimes people don't want to hold the snakes because they've heard snakes are slimy. You guys heard that before? Yeah. Well, snakes aren't slimy at all. In fact, you guys are all slimier than snakes are. Your parents are slimier too. And this is because we're all people. And people have oils on their skin. Have you guys ever touched a window with your finger or your nose and left some prints behind? Yeah, that's your slime. And it's more slime than Alice has on her scales because she's cleaner and drier than we are. So nobody can use that as a reason not to touch or hold any of the snakes in the second part of the show. 